Hey guys, it's Delicia, and thanks for tuning in to Cigar Vixen channel. Um, raise your hand if you're arachnophobic. I am. I hate spiders. But I have this cigar here, <laughs> which um, incidentally is named the Recluse. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny because the, the rep that gave it to me, um, Patrick, I was teasing him. I'm like, you know, of all the names for you guys to come out with a cigar, like why did you have to name it after a spider? Because I haven't wanted to touch this thing because of the fear of this little, not just a spider, but the, like the deadliest, one of the deadliest spiders out there. So I'm not a fan of the name, but other than that, the cigar is pretty good. So let's give it a smoke. I just had to make a quick joke about that. Um, this particular one is the Draconian and um, it's featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and some interesting tobaccos. Um, I don't know what the binder is. I, I couldn't understand it on the website. It's something different that I haven't seen. Um, the fillers are a variety of a couple that I, or one that I hadn't heard of, which is like, um, in fact, I had to write it down. It was a, a Brasiago, Brasiago HD. Not sure what that is. Um, also featuring Piloto Cubana and a Dominican Ligero. And then another um, iconic Ligero, which is exclusive, I guess, to them. So pretty cool. The shape of it is rather unique. It's something that has kind of been their, kind of like their trademark thing where they're coming out with these different types of sizes, uh, kind of unique. And this one is referred to as like a sidewinder on their website. And it's kind of a combination between um, a box pressed and a rounded, similar to kind of like the oval, but a little bit different. And something that's kind of cool that um, Patrick showed me was that I guess you don't have to cut it. Let me see if I could do it. He said you just you just squeeze the head. Maybe not. Maybe it's the wrong one. Well, on the one that I smoked at the lounge. It must have been a little bit different shape, but he, you just kind of popped and like you squeeze the side of it and it kind of puts a little slit in it. So if you don't have a cutter, um, it's something that is kind of cool. This one didn't work. So, um, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. Hmm. That's kind of a... Kind of like an, uh, um, a, I don't know what that taste is. It's different. It's not, it's a little bit sweet, but it's also like a little bit of um, a um, hay, kind of like a barnyardish type of a flavor to it. So a little bit different. I have had nothing but trouble lately with my lighters. I got, I don't know what's going on. So again, I'm using cedar spill and I'm going to go ahead and toast it up. I love cedar spills. It's like the smell of the cedar is just, it's so beautiful. So also, um, thank you, Patrick, for the sample. I forgot to say that. I was so involved in the whole like fear of spider thing that I almost forgot to say thank you. There's even one of the sizes that says tarantula. I will definitely not be smoking that one. No, I'm just kidding. It's unique. I can appreciate people that are coming out with their own thing and very not traditional. It's definitely a conversational type of a, a name and a band. Hmm. Well, that was a nice little hello. That was a very um, pronounced sweetness, almost like um, a mixture of like chestnut and um, like, like maybe like a chocolate covered chestnut. It was sweet, but it had a nuttiness to it. Very good. That was like that first initial puff. I love that.
Hmm. A little bit of, I don't know if it's just a little bit dry, but the leaf is kind of wanting to flake up. So it doesn't look like it's gonna really affect the overall smoke, but we'll continue to smoke it down. But a very nice introduction extremely aromatic I mean that's first of all it's producing a lot of smoke but it's a very nice um, warm I'm not hitting you it's like this chestnuts nutty chocolatey type of um, a taste to it so very good so far very nice I'm probably gonna take this band off just because it's freaking me out but <laughs> um, no very good flavor I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and I will check back in with you and let you know what the tastes are like. So I'm actually um, getting into the last third here. Um, there wasn't a ton of different transitions to report, so I just kept ahead, you know, smoking through that second third. The flavors though were really good. It's not that they weren't worth mentioning. It's just that there wasn't any real big shift. Um, there was a, an introduction to kind of a, a little bit more of a coffee hint but still kept really nutty um again a little bit of kind of like that chocolatey influence in there more along, along the lines of like a milk chocolate versus that um kind of richer dark it was more uh, that milk chocolate nutty a little bit of coffee um a nice amount of shifting with like an earthiness and there was a, a slight introduction of kind of like a tanginess of some sort that was really I just started getting that towards this last couple puffs or so. So that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm very curious as to what uh, the tobacco that they're using, like what it is, because again, I haven't heard of the, uh, the one that I mentioned, the br something or other HD. I'll have to look into that. And then the binder that I don't know what it is. And then again, they're, they're using uh, their iconic Ligero, which I, I don't know anything about that either. So. It's, it's kind of curious. I mean, it's, it's very interesting to me to find something that I'm not as familiar with. You're definitely getting um, a lot of good flavor from it. And it has a pretty good price point around like nine or 10 bucks a stick. So very good. Um, I would encourage you to try it out. If you don't have a problem with um, the scary spider on the band, then you should be good. No, but overall, um, very good flavors. It's, I mean, it's still, I'm gonna smoke it down. I'm not actually gonna take the band off now. But it's not getting, you know, heated up too much. It has a really nice open draw. Again, a beautiful aroma, a nice amount of smoke output. So no complaints here whatsoever. Um, I found it very enjoyable. So again, I thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.